Welcome back, this is Fox with another Anno 1800 video. Today I'm going to be talking you through um, a blueprint of an investor-only island. Or it will be an investor-only island once I've upgraded all these houses to investors. I'll put you on trial. I'm going to talk to you about how I set things up and why I set things up. And the coverage of all the buildings and things like that. You're dead, She's going to start warming me now. She's been pain in the ass forever. Yeah, I'm just going to generally talk about the setup that I've got, why I do things and specialists I've got to make this as the best sort of island as I can. So town hall specialists we'll go through in a bit. We're going to start off with a palace. Local department. I'm lucky enough to have 118 wings on my actual palace in Crown Falls which means the coverage of my local departments is massive. Um, if I put this dead centre of the island or as close to the centre as I can you can see it just not getting up to this tiny bit up here but I'm not too bothered about those three little little houses the rest of the island is covered saying that there's a bit here but how thrilling a renowned personage has arrived yep we're covering that now so we're virtually covering the whole island with this palace and the one that I choose on these investor only island is within the department of welfare and it's this one the late licensee act Affects residents in range of pubs, variety theatres, member clubs and radio towers. And it gives a 20% redu reduced need for all drinks. So this is champagne and uh, coffee when it comes to investors. So 20% reduction in the needs of champagne and coffee is massive for investors. Along with some of the bonuses that I've got. Reducing the needs. Yeah, that's why I go with that. Um... When I do these investor islands with uh, gas power plants, I do increased radius. I change it to Department of Labor. We now have the required yeah, look, this one's citywide web app. Plus 15 area of influence for power plants. If I decide to use gas power, which I do on some places, that's what I use because gas is obviously a limited resource. You can only create a certain amount of it due to the number of plateaus there are. But yeah, in the old world, when I've got oil power plants set up, this is the one I go for. 20% reduction needed for all drinks. Told you she was going to start one. Under attack. Not unless we get what's... She doesn't like being refused the quests. So yeah, for this... For this perk to work from this Just local department, I need to be in the range of a members club, which is also a need of an investor. So Ship under attack. you can see the the coverage that I've got on these members clubs. I've got one, Ship under two, attack. three, four, and we're covering the whole island. So four members clubs with the boosted range that this palace gives, plus 22 area of influence for all public buildings. I'm at level six with this department of welfare. These four... Members clubs cover the whole Perhaps island. Perhaps it's time you met our I'd almost believe you weren't a royal. So that covers the palace. Um, power plants now. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, full island coverage with six power plants. Um, these get these are affected by the range boost on the palace as well. If you click on it, you can see they're highlighted. So we get an extra 22 area of influence from all public buildings. So this increases the range of these uh, oil power plants. Everyone is being affected by a trade union. If you see every one of these trade union next to all the power plants, these all have the same three same specialists in magnetist affects oil power plant plus extra goods occasionally produces extra oil. This chap affects oil power plant. Chance of fire minus 90. Occasionally produces extra oil. This woman, former pyrophorian whiz, affects oil power plant. Workforce needed minus 80%. Maintenance cost minus 24. Chance of fire zero. Explosion chance zero. So no chance of them going bang. Plus we actually get oil created from these when they work. If we turn them on, you can see plus one, plus one. We are actually generating oil from these power plants as well as what we are generating from this here. If you have a look, this oil power plant, if we pause the oil refinery quickly. It's a surprise inspection. 
you can see these six oil power plants produce 38, which is exactly half of what I need. So it's massive, massive boost. Hold the machines. This oil refiner is at something stupid, a thousand four hundred percent, something crazy. This is being affected by these three: the fine handheld power auger, mechanical drill, and a standard drill. This one gives 25 productivity. This one 35, and this one 40. So 25. 35 is 60 and 40 so 100 percent boost from these these three items in the trade union so that pretty much covers the power plants six of them full coverage being boosted by a trade union plus they are also producing us extra oil which means the oil that we are getting from this doesn't all have to be used on this island we can ship it elsewhere massive bonus right let's talk about town hall coverage pretty good Virtually the whole island covered. The only one I couldn't get one in was here, but I'm not too bothered about that. You can see, you see the gaps in between these. This is where I try and fit things in that I need, but don't want to take up the space of houses that are going to be affected by the town halls. So you can see I've got a police station here. I've put a members club there, fire sta uh, police station there. Got another members club here. Snuck in a little. Um, Grape farm here, another grape farm here. Obviously, the trade union and the fire station and the warehouses for the quartz production, glass production here. Obviously, I could have had another town hall here, but I knew I wanted to leave this area for the grapes because I decided to create the champagne on this island, which I've been doing quite a lot. I used to use the specialists for champagne in all my town halls. Which is this woman, Aristella Bate of the Novelty Store. She provides the residents with champagne. So the, the only reason I don't, don't do that is because I want these three in my town halls. This chap provides cigars, saves on islands in the, in the new world. This woman, 20% plus max residents, chance, chance of illness minus 50, chance of riots minus 50, bonus residents plus two from various things. And I use this chap, max residents plus 10, plus a bit of bonus income. Um, residents with the electricity need fulfilled are provided with the bank and members club. So I'm not too sure how this works in regards to needing the members members club for the boost from the palace. So uh, I always put the members clubs in anyway. I mean, they are in between the the members clubs are in between the radiuses of the circles anyway. So if they need it, they need it. If they're not, they're not. I haven't actually tested that. I probably will do that. But yeah, this chap gives, so I'm getting 40%, 30% um, extra residents and cigars provided. So it's almost a third extra people in here and cigars provided for them, which is absolutely great considering I'm striving for a million people. Of a I'm always there. I'm almost there. I'm at 750. Um, yeah. What's next? Police station coverage. The whole island covered. I've only got four or five, I think. Five or six. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Same with fire stations. I could do have another one up here. Can we this sneak one in a somewhere? Magnet for genius. Not bad. Virtually everywhere covered. I'm not too bothered about this little bit, although I could try and squeeze one in, as I say. Probably make better use of this guy if I put him in over here. Yep, yeah, not too bad. So full fire station coverage, pretty much. Full um, police boat. station coverage. So all that's left now is just the production of the champagne, which I do on Ireland. I roughly know how much I'm going to need because I've got a few of these similar sized islands around here so I knew roughly I was going to need sort of 16 tons of champagne now uh, I'm going to be producing way much more than that over here because I wanted to keep a little extra for these smaller islands I've got one two three four smaller investor islands to go and hopefully with the champagne I'm over producing on, on some of my other investor islands over here I won't have to create champagne on site so 
If we have a look at the minute, I'm producing 43 tons, so probably double what I need. And that's with not producing enough grapes for the champagne cellar, so I probably could remove a champagne cellar or two, but I mean, I've still got some slight spacing around the edge here. I could probably squeeze some farms in here. This is this is something that I would do at a later date. Let's see, I could do that. Probably squeeze one in somewhere if we're lucky. Master. Get every last inch of the space filled up. Creative use. I mean, it's not being boosted by nothing. It's not got a warehouse in range, it's telling me. Because I'll move that out of the way. So yeah, it's telling me I need 41 tons of grapes. I'm only producing 21. That's to run these champagne cellars that I've got here. But I'm already overproducing on the champagne anyway. So, so I may well go around and do what I've just done. So yeah, as I say, I'll probably go around and fill in all the gaps for these grain farms and make the most of it. Get the production of champagne up a little bit. I'm going to collect this because he's annoying me by asking me for it. This is the research. So, yeah, what we've got going on here, obviously, they're being boosted by a tractor. I purposely left this space so it was right next to the oil harbour. Doesn't have to travel far to create the oil for the farms. The farms are being boosted by this bloke, Cosmo Castelli, ergonomic trailblazer. He's the best person to put in your farms anywhere it's minus 80 percent workforce plus 70 percent productivity a few extra modules but hey ho it's worth it for that amount of boost um, then the patent seed steel seed drill productivity plus 40 percent workforce needed minus 50 i'm sure you've seen this before this chap is the best one to have on your investor islands because he actually produces champagne he affects a grain farm red pepper farm and a vineyard 40 percent boost plus you get the added bonus of him giving you champagne so all in all these are at 450%. Lovely little boost. So we've got the grapes. We then need the glass. So my quartz set up. I've got four quartz farms. That's all. And they're producing me 33 tons a minute. The reason for that is these amazing specialists. Stephen McLeod, geological, geological surveyor. He affects clay pits, salt pit works, sand mine. That's why I'm using him. 50% productivity, and he produces me extra pearls and gold ore. Um, I will be using this gold ore, ship it over to the Cape. I'm actually, for the first time in ages, I won't be shipping it over to the Cape, I'm lying, but for the first time in ages, I am actually making I don't have all I need for my canvas. Always harder with someone Why is that telling me you need, you need pearls? There's a specialist in here that cancels the need for pearls. Building produces goods without requiring pearls. So much bugged out with that. These ones are working. Confused. I'll deal with that later. Yeah, they're working now. Don't know why it's telling me we need pearls. I'm not producing any pearls over here. I haven't got any pearls in storage either. Weird little bug that was, but yeah, I've digressed. I will be using the gold that this chap's producing. Uh, I don't use the pearls because I use that specialist you've just seen over there. So I'll be shipping the gold to that island to make jewels, send back to Crown Falls. 
The next bloke. Um, fine handheld power auger. I use these in all of my sun mines. You get a 40% boost, minus 20 workforce, and then a ferrous. An extra 50% boost, and a minus 10% workforce. So we're negative 30 on the workforce there. They'll also be infected by the Harbour Master's office. These three items I use can be crafted at night in the cape. If we go over here. It's this, these are the three I use. Affects all coastal production buildings, so that's anything from your sand mines, your fisheries, anything that can be uh, affected by a harbour master's office. This is a sticky shiny claw, 30% um, 30 30 productivity. And there's the next one down, the epic one, gives you 25%. This one, 15, so you get 40 and 35, so it's 75% boost from these three in your harbour master's office. They are being boosted by electricity also. So these are at 415%. So these four sand mines producing 33 tons a minute. Um, my potential is 48 tons. Uh, it needs 48, but I don't need that much, as I say, because I'm overproducing on the champagne anyway. So th these four were enough. I didn't want to rework all my harbors and try and fit another cluster of these in. So these sand mines were easily enough. Then we've got glass production. As I was saying earlier, I've sort of snuck this in this area here, so I'm only taking up a tiny little area where some houses would have been for my glass production. These three I'm using the printing press, mainly for the minus 40 workforce. These are um, artisans. I don't have a massive stock of artisans on uh, the old world. As you can see, I've got a few on this island, and I've got this one. This is all the artisans I've got. I've only got 5,000 in total in my whole world, so any time there are artisans involved, I try and use some form of work workforce reduction to keep them as low as possible. I could add a bell in there, really, and get this down to 90% with the ferrous, but I wanted the extra the production. Work of so the printing press gives you plus 25, plus minus 40. Then I've got the mechanised glass blower, 35% productivity, and uh, this dude, Oriel's automatic blowing machine. 40% productivity and also decreases the chance of fire, which is a bonus. Because I haven't. At What's it selling me here? Fire chance very high. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, deal with that. If there's any space to do it, I'll probably get one in here. Get one there. Very high still productivity. Uh, I'll probably have to sacrifice a couple of these houses to get that down. I don't want to risk it blowing up. It's just a pain in the ass. So, yeah, that's my glass production. Uh, the printing press, mechanised glass blower, Oriel's automatic blowing machine. Obviously, it then goes to the champagne sellers. Have I made too many? Six, six champagne sellers here. We're at full output storage. I'm going to pause that now. We're taking every I'm also going to pause the grapes because I know they were full. Um, the glass must be near enough full. Probably not. Yeah, I'll let the glass run for a little bit. Same with the quartz. So yes, champagne sellers. These are the three I use. MME Elise, the nose bouquet. She's a legendary. Affects champagne seller, rum seller, distillery, and advanced rum distillery. Productivity plus 50% and attractiveness. She also increases the chance of unique specialists may visit your city so i do have a public one over here going to prettier places the overall attractiveness is at 166 that will go up when the investor houses start coming in next in the line we've got this one sommelier raymond i always think it's a woman when i look look at a picture but apparently it's a bloke called raymond affects champagne seller rum distillery and advanced rum distillery another 40 percent productivity plus a 5% attractiveness. Then the Grandiloquent Copper Distiller affects all drinks production, another 50% productivity. So we've got 50, 40, and 50. So we've got 140% productivity boost on these. Oh, when these are running, because of the electricity as well, it's gonna be at 240, maybe more. Pause for thought. New orders. Set some champagne out, we'll let it get back up while we finish talking, just so we can check what they're on. Uh, it's going to be, what did I say, 240 probably, plus 
the 100 from the electric 340. Good little production boost. So apart from that, that's it. I don't do anything else on this island. As long as they've got the members clubs, obviously power covering everywhere. Good coverage of police stations and fire stations. I have set up a trade union here to catch these two. Um, you can never have enough coal, so that's the reason I've done this. I'm going to nick a couple of... I mean, it's all iron on here because I've changed these. This was originally my rubber island. It was making penny fabrics and stuff, so I've changed these to alter iron bars and can, can soon change them back. So I've got those two set up and these two, because I could grab both of them with a trade union, these are ready to go. I've got no specialists over here for that yet, but that's not the end of the world. So yeah, I've got four potential coal mines. I boost the coal mines a lot quickly show you what they would have in them I use the same setup in all of my mines I use these uh, if they haven't got electricity they have over there so I would on this one swap this out for all the legendary mining thing that I haven't got and maybe one setup here if we're lucky yeah so this is a setup I would have if they are being a catching the electric off the grid which this one is look you can see the electric catching Alas, it. John Melching now, now. this bloke's amazing he produces oil and gold you can see as he ticks over you get oil and then every now and again you get gold ore come up as well plus a 70% boost Sims electrifying elevator 40% productivity maintenance cost minus 35 and then this sapper is amazing I don't know why this is rare this should be an epic you get a 50% productivity boost plus a minus 75 workforce um, great little find, I use them in all my mines. So yeah, they will be coming over here when I activate these coal mines. But yeah, for now, that's it. That's how I do my investor islands. You can see the same, virtually the same setup going on over here. Got riots going on. Sand mines. Um, I had to give this chap electricity because he wasn't catching it off the grid. So I sacrificed one of the boosts that we had over there for this. They are not being boosted by the Harbour Masters to its fullest. I've still got room for the, the high-end slot. Glass production is here. This one I wanted on zero workforce, so I've got different specialists. As I said, artisans try and keep them low as possible. Same with this over here. I've got a big reduction in... Um, Workforce on this island as well. I've got a minus 50. MM, MM Elise again and the Grandiloquent Copper Distiller. So, my investor islands are very similar. You can see Trade Union, same two specialists giving me the oil. I need to import the woman over here that stops these going bang. But I was obviously going to do that at a later date. Same thing. Palace in the middle, same boost. Reduce 20%, 20 percent reduction need for all drinks this is half these out these have got everything apart from penny farms everything they need pocket watches luxury all being boosted by the same three people that I said over there yep it's the way to do it this island here alone is got 95,268 investors on it so if you had 10 islands like this alone you would get a million people anyway i've digressed and i'm waffling on a bit um i hope you learned something any questions about this setup please let me know if you think there's a way i can do it better but these work really well for me producing the champagne on the island is a small price to pay for having a giant champagne island nicking a tiny little corner out of it like this to produce champagne and then just sneaking the little sneaking the rest of the production in these gaps in between your trade unions and uh town halls yeah produce your champagne on site okay as i said hope you learned something see you in the next one